artistic what? An artistic, I'm going to uh, do an artistic zoom in past Dave. I quite like his there pencil sharpness, they will work. Uh, Has anybody ever had a pencil sharpener that didn't work? Me. You're kidding me? Well, they're blunt. I've used mm. them too much. That's for the fire. Oh, dear. Anyway, listen, you'll like this question. I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I can't... I'm waiting. I'm a gog. It's on... I'm dying for the on... question. I'm gagging of... for it. When are you going to get It's on one of those uh, printouts that are well, up there. That's the bloody question. Yeah, well, just hold it right there. You have a drink. Have a film. There you go. Lovely, eh? Right then. Somebody wanted to have a quick. Wanted us to sh uh, you to de uh, describe what you've got on your wall behind because they like the wall. Oh, the wall. Yeah. Yeah. So let's have a quick left to right or right to left or top to bottom. Okay then. Is it yeah. files? Files. Files for shaping necks. Shaping necks. Doing frets. The head of frets. That's a shaping neck file, them are more files. Ah, uh, far, far. And there's a, a saw thrown in, look, for good measure. There's two rough, they're, well, you wouldn't call them rough cutting, but you can use these for cutting fret slots, yep. as long as you shave the sides down. Mm -hmm. You don't want them more than 0.6 mil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you want 23 thou, really thick, okay. for general file, uh, fret cutting. Yeah, yeah. Just be very careful with I've fret. seen you cutting frets with that. Yes, you can do. I've, I've filed it down the sides. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With a stone, use use a stone. Yeah, yeah. Put it on a flat piece of wood. Yeah. And a stone, and just gently take it down so till it's yeah. the right thickness. Excellent. The, the but, uh, but, but now you can buy the Japanese saws. Yeah. Which are already set at the right width. Okay. And these do cut on the pull. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. So these are good for deepening fret slots and stuff. Take it. The other one doesn't. I so don't need. I don't need them for fret slots. I use them for general everything. So that's uh, those those uh, these ones here. You just got round ones, round ones square yeah, ones. Different round ones yeah. for different roundy holes. Is it anything? A squarey one. The reason I've got some of them is because I was given them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you always ask people coming in, don't you? Sort of giving you stuff. Giving me things, yeah. yeah. Do you want this? My yeah. dad's died and that kind of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So the, there's a few of them. Uh, these chisels, I bought all these chisels a long time ago. You sure? Well, that's, that was... A gardener was using it Ooh. to dig the garden with. That's a nice one. But it's a lovely, this is a lovely, lovely That's metal that sharpens so nice. Quite old, isn't it? I like that. It's a very old one, yeah. Oh, but I say he's been it using it to dib, you know, in his garden yeah, yeah, for yeah, yeah. Pl plants in. Who's it made by? Maples. Okay. When they made really good tools. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Marples. Marples. Marples, that's Marples, it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Some what's... Stanleys, well that's a good one, Stanley one, and that's uh, that's 50 years old. Is it really? Well, yeah. yeah. Early Stanley stuff was good. Really good, very, sh this takes a good sharp, yeah, tin that tin takes tin a good edge. Rubbish. And this one is another marple one, and this takes a really good edge. So what's uh, special about that one? I, I like it. No, but what, I mean, what, Nothing special about it. You know the, sort of the size of it, the, the contour well, of it's the just uh, angle? Well, I've sharpened it well. Okay. I think. And the width, what is it? It's like an inch. Inch, yeah. yeah. They're all different sizes, all different sharpnesses. What about uh, that bendy thing there? Oh, them are for doing a carving out. I use them for carving. Yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, a, a, one of those, I think it was this one, I carved the Robbie Williams one out completely oh, yeah. with. Oh, right. And probably uh, and the, Lord, uh, Lord, Lemon. Lord Lemon. Lord Lemon, yeah. I use yeah. this on both of them. This yeah, yeah, one. yeah. Just that one. Yeah, yeah. It's just a nice one to use. Is that Stanley or? Uh, marbles, marbles, marbles again. yeah, another marbles one, yeah. So I bought a set of them about 40 years ago for carving out, and I've got a bendy one there, which is great for fret ends. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not fret ends, fret ends, sorry. No, the ends of when you've got the backs, you've, the, not in this, but in acoustic guitars, yeah. you put your struts in, yeah. in the inside, yeah. and the ends, the shallow out. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's not the one I use, because that's a curved one, but yeah. uh, that kind of thing. But that's good for doing shapes uh, when you're inside hollows. What's that one, past that sort of big chunky file thing next to the hammer? That one? No, no, see that hammer, that claw hammer? Oh, the hammer? It's balancing. They were for yeah. when I was doing the house. No, no, there's um, another chisel there. Oh, that one? Yeah. Yeah. That's just one I inherited. Ah. Somebody bought round. Right, so, it's a bit yeah. useless. Oh, God. Well, it, no, it's, it comes in. You couldn't slash your throat with that, could you? No, no. It comes in. No, it's very sharp. Can you just try it? No, thank you. Okay, yeah. So there you go. Uh, the hammers were just general purpose hammers. General um, 
hammers. Yeah, good for murdering. Yeah, and, and lots uh, of sores, little sores. Little sores? Why have you got so many little sores? I don't know. Once you've been given, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, all that. Let's look up here. Like them files are too rough for anything, really, are you do. Yeah. Same there. I don't use the other them. What about, let's look up. Uh, oh, right, all them sores just been bought for different jobs. Yeah. These, are Jap I bought a set of Japanese ones because I like pull sores. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're getting much thinner saw, because mm. and they can bend, but it doesn't matter because you're pulling. Pulling, yeah, yeah. And it yeah, pulls yeah. and keeps them straight pulling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what would you typically use that on? Well, that you can use for rough wood. Yeah, but what, on, uh, on what? On, well, all oh, wood, what, what, but that one very fine. Yeah. Yeah. So they're very fine, very thin, so you can cut very nice, delicate cut. Wood what wood. would you typically be cutting with that? Well, I, I cut joints, neck joints, and stuff. Okay. Uh, yeah. well, not with that one though, this yeah. is a little a slightly stiffer one there, yeah, and yeah. even finer I use, and that one. Yeah. But it's even got a solid back look to see, keep it straight. See that one before, the one that looks the, like it? The old ones. Samurai sword. The old ones got a bit knackered up. Okay. In the fire there. Um, you know what? Can't remember ever seen this uh, ruler here before. Was that a new well, that, no, that, that, that was contributed today. I found that in a box that oh, yeah. Dave bought me from his next door neighbour. Oh, right. I've not checked it out. I used to have a great big architect's one that went up in the fire. It was six foot long. Yeah. Let's just go further up for a second here. What, what, what have you up there? There's oh. jigs, different jigs. Look, even a Les Paul 59 jig See that there. blue thing next to it? It's what just an angle it? thing. An angle. That's for general woodworking, not for guitars. Okay. Oh yeah, just like ang angles and 45 and, and then, it's just a bit of crap. <laughs> a bit of crap? Yeah. So we've got here generic scale, 24 and 3 quarter scale. No, I can't uh, get the bastard back up there now. Just bit, which bit it. Went in. You don't use it anyway, so you might as well bin it. You, you described it as just a general I don't know where I got it from. And you've got... Uh, this is all general woodworking things, not for really much to do with guitars, like a big angle. <laughs> and there's a jig I'm flying down. <laughs> There's loads of jigs that fell down there. Better knock that guitar off your, uh, your oh, product list. Yeah. There's a neck angle for the... I made. A neck angler? Yeah, you know, for the yeah, I know what you mean. headstock. Uh, what general. model would that be, Gibson? I've no idea, I can't remember. No, it's too shallow, isn't it? Could be. Uh, oh, what do I know? different yeah. jigs for bodies. And uh, various there's jigs. The, there's Mr. Will's body jig. Oh yeah, it looks very old. Well, it oh, it's isn't. just old, old plastic. I know it's just old plastic I've had for a long time. I cut it out of. Okay, so uh, let's just. Um, I mean, down here is lots uh, of pencils. Now these are very, very good. These. Oh. These are very old steel, and they're very thin. Look. A little putty thing. Absolutely no, not putty what you, things. What these do you are, use that for? Take well, you can go inside, oh, yeah, 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 and you yeah. get cracks in guitars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can clean them out with these. Like Dave said, you can have something taking like heating components up, soften the glue, yeah. and then yeah. just gently push that into. That's uh, right. So I've got all that kind of thing down there. Those just scissors, generally for cutting sandpaper. Uh, just general tools. There's spoke shave there for guitar necks. I like how those hammers are just hanging on. Yeah. On well, it's the, the elastic give. Yes. Um, it's like your knickers. What's that thing there? Spoke shave. It's an old wooden one. A spoke shave? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Look, there you are. A sharp, sharpened steel blade, and uh, you can pull or push with them. A spoke right shave? Now. Yeah, for Sp shaping. Spokes? They you call mean? them spoke shaves, because they used to use them for wheels. Wheel rights. Shape, yeah. Wheels rights use them for oh, shaping so you mean, wheels. So it's not, not, not a guitar specific instrument? No, but you can do necks with them. Oh, They're great for necks. How old is that then? It's quite old. Very, yeah. Well. About 50, 60 years old. It's probably older, yeah. yeah. No, it isn't. It's about okay. 56. It's called it 49. And I've, there's another one there. Oh, look, oh, yeah. another oh, I've one. never seen them. Yeah. Never seen them. And there's a modern one. Ah. Yeah. So I've got so many pencils. You just like the. But, I mean, they look I, nice. I don't know. I've just had some more given me. I just slot them all in there. You go to the shops and buy a pencil, you buy a packet. Yeah, yeah. Not years ago, you didn't. Well, you, you do you now, have gone and bought 10 of them. Probably be about five quid. Well, I did. So what have we got over there, Doug, in the... Uh... There's just screwdrivers for general... Yeah. Just general screwdrivers for... And, and little... Just general screwdrivers. Let's call them screwdrivers. For yeah. the house. Yeah. There's then, a uh... wood, wood hammer there and a wood hammer there. This is one I made 40-odd oh, yeah. years ago. 
and out of maple this is, it's nice and heavy and it's really good mm. for, you know, that one I inherited, that would, I've I'll never used it, it isn't as good as this. It's got about a half an inch of dust on it, hasn't it, it's great. Yeah, don't use it. Yeah. But you, you never know, it might come in one day. Okay, see, at the bottom, that there's a big pipe thing. What's that? About there. Oh, that? Yes. Yes, yes. What I use that, that for, no, it's in the pipe, it's a piece of wood. I wrap, I wrap sandpaper around it if I'm doing a round oh. sandpaper or... I've got bits of them all over the place. Look at the different size round one. So let's... Um, I've sized that one for two different bends. Jesus Christ. Well, yeah, everything's full. So that's for sandpaper that size. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. for sandpaper that size. How, a, how do you keep the sandpaper from yeah. falling off? Just like tap it in? Just hold it. Okay, got you. Uh, what would you say is the most interesting part You're of this? You always on it's crack. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. I'm used to feeling cracks. <laughs> what would you oh. say is the most... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where it came from now. Where did this come from? What, that thought? This hole. Oh, it's there. There you go. Uh, there you go, another pencil's going. Another pencil's going, yeah. Catch it quick, right then. No, listen. fuck it. Fuck it, okay. Um, here, a little plane, blah, 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 what's this? Oh, little files. Oh, oh that's yeah. depth gauge. Yeah, of course it is, yeah. yeah. Setting depths. Oh, see? Mm, yeah, I know. When it, looking at it from the back, it looks, just looks like a, yes. a dusty piece of... No, it's, yeah, I know, everything looks nonsense. like a dusty piece of crap, but it's all really yeah. good. And all very expensive as well, it's really, really good. Precise. Okay, so looking over there, where then... Where did that come from now? See? I don't know where that came from. It's, it's actually, it's, it's like abstract art, isn't it? It is, yeah. I think on the videos... This wall looks great as a background. All right. Back, uh, background to it. Rulers. Uh, oh, yeah. Straight, two straight edges. I bought, I bought them um, 1984. Three, four. No, before I opened the factory, so it'd be in the 70s I bought these. Oh, yeah. Uh, precise straight edges cost a lot of money. Oh, really? Yeah, a lot of money. Who makes? Who made them? Uh, Mr. Dix. It does say on them. Rabone. Rabone. Uh, yeah, Rabone made these. Straight edge, 300. Yeah. No. Nice weight to them. Yeah. yeah, well, they're real. Real yeah. steel and real proper metal, and they're really straight. Real steel. So they're great for, you know, checking your necks yeah. and, and everything like that. Perfectly flat to each other. Excellent. So I was thinking of a joke. Um, the next thing, if you want to see, is that. Got three of these. Hmm. A little tiny plane. It's a little tiny, yeah, a sandpaper. Oh, well, it's sandpaper. It, but it's not sandpaper, it's steel. Okay. But it's fine. Very good. Yeah, it's fine. When, when was the last time you used that? All the while. Ah. Just only little bits at a time, on little jobs. Just looking over there then, quickly. Yeah. You've got all these, all these machines and things. Oh, the sandpapery machines. So you've got. Uh, Just sanders them all. Sanders, and then up there you've got your router storage. Some router storage, some of them down here, the big ones. Yeah. And that's yeah. always been used, even though it's covered in dust now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I've been doing. Um, so over there, okay, you've got Sanders. Next. Routers. Next. Uh, router cutters, router cutters, router cutters. And then. It's just basically. It's best storage of nonsense. And more routers, there's a router there. More routers, yeah. Then looking to the right, we've got its clamp. That's clamp, isn't it? That one? No, clamps. Oh, the clamps. The wall yeah. of clamps. No, wall of clamps. Oh, what's yeah. that one there with the? Uh, well, that does, I bought the that thing. at a trade show once. I've got two of them. What? what you can turn it into a lathe. Can you? Because it got another end to it as well that clamps on your bench. Oh, right. There it is. It's on the end. So you clamp that on the end. That one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. There. Yeah. And if you want to push your neck into a guitar body like a Les Paul, oh, nice. which I do yeah. when I fit a new neck, yeah. a neck on a guitar and building. It presses it down that yeah, way. Yeah, it's, oh, it's got a twisty uh, thread. So you can yeah, yeah. Re no, you can reverse yeah. the end so that it presses out yeah, 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 rather yeah, than yeah. comes in. Yeah, I really clever that is. Pushing a pull. It pushed me pull you. Yeah, there you go then. And I've got two of those. Mm, sure enough, eh? And then you yeah. got the wall of clamps. Yeah, and wall of clamps. Uh, I think your favourite clamps there are usually. Um, Wooden the wooden ones. I'm going to say the, the simple ones, yeah, the wooden ones. Yeah. They're great. Um, more clamps over there, picture view of my guitar. And you know what? I mean, we could have a spring clamps. 
Just go in there a second. Let's have a quick. Uh, just let's just oh, have a look. Oh, for fuck's sake! There's everything in there. Oh, I thought you were complaining about me no, no. videoing you. <laughs> this is a wall of everything. Yeah. There's fret files. A box of fret files. There's lots of adjustment to uh, Allen keys. Allen key, Allen keys and ones for Les Pauls in different sorts. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we go left? What's the screwdriver? Left. No, no, no. Left. That's right, Doug. Left. Okay. No, and then across the I've desk. Got, uh, in there, I've got bone. I cut up bone, and I I cut it off from sections from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For guitars, I've just cut that section out. That lump of crap you saw. Yeah, bone. For this bone, yeah. Yeah. I've got everything up there. Uh, what about down on your bench? Then in front of the bench, the back of the bench. Oh God. Bits of scraps of wood. Yeah. As well as uh, knocky end pieces. Knocking in pieces. Well, knocking in pieces, so you don't mark the wood. Yeah, so yeah, you want yeah. knock those in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For instance, you use that end Soft with wood. hammer. Yeah, I yeah. use the wooden hammer and yeah. wood, a piece of wood. Yeah, yeah. That's for tightening. Uh, uh, I hope. I That's for that's me fetch me grab you. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. you drop something in a guitar body, you can get it out with that because I've yeah. glued it's magnet metallic. to the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. And I can pull in jack sockets with that. Yeah, end. yeah. Then we're just bits of scraps, just for using for cutting bits. Then there's all tools there. There's a pair of these. They're soft touch. Oh yeah, softly, softly. Soft for you know grabbing well, things yeah. on guitars yeah, yeah, without yeah. marking them. Yeah. Uh, uh, so there's drill, all sorts drill of drill bits. bits. Yeah. Lots of little files. There. Lots and lots of little files for all different filey jobs. Drill bits for, for you know general purpose drill bits. They'll do metal as well as wood. Yeah. And they they'll do wood. These are wood ones oh. with the tips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that 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 kind, you know. Yeah. So you can follow that the little guides. Space. Yeah. Got uh, them. Some more little general tools up here. Look. Oh yeah. Hey, little uh, graphite. I bought you that. You did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, more stuff here. Look. Paintbrushes. Yeah, Dave's. D no, no, them are mine. Dave's bought me them. Yeah. These. I like this pot. Is he? Have you bought the uh, pot? No, the he pots. Didn't. So you got more Dave's uh, pencils. Dave's yeah. brushes. No, Dave's red pencils are my pencils, I bought them. Okay. And the pencils are bought 50. Getting a bit aggressive. They're all yellow, aren't they? Um, some more, what are these things here? Just, uh, Just a screwdriver set. Screwdriver. They're cheap and they're very good. Yeah. And then you've got. Um, oh, oh, yeah. These, I've got that. What about this? Look, here. Just drill bits for different jobs, different size all, drills in them. All fired up, ready to go. Yep. Um, Little drills, because you don't like changing the drill bit. Instead of changing the drill bit, you have a whole separate a drill. Different drill, yeah. Yeah. Colour coded, is it? It's like a million. That's what millionaires do. <laughs> yeah. Colour coded, is it? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we should go like this. And run them. What? Uh, run them down to annoy him. Um, they're um, they're only a tenner. Phew. A lot of money to somebody like me. That yeah, is. I'm sure it is. Um, okay, um, well, we've almost finished, Doug, here. Good. I thought to just show you these. lost interest. There's just more, a, more screws and things here, look. These are reamers, if you like reamers. I'm looking at your screws, Doug. All right. Just general purpose screws, most of them. I don't use them for guitars much. Got some paint up here as well. When's the last time you used this? Don't know what it is. I can't see you. Uh, acrylic. Acrylic. acrylic paint. Show me. Here. Be careful you don't knock that down. Oh, no, I'm not, yeah. Oh, those, they're water based. Okay, yeah. I haven't used them for years. Can't remember why I've got them. Probably oh, somebody gave them me. A little, little iron up there. Oh, you've got a, you've got a little uh, sound hole thing for your acoustic. Yeah, you know, stop it. Um, yeah, this, I don't yeah. think it's much good a anymore. Bung. It went up in the fire, the fire knackered it. Some more, got some nice string there, look. Uh, oh, the iron is really good. I yeah. use the iron, I use two irons for guitar fingerboards. Oh, yeah. If you want to melt the glue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On the frets. We've got plenty of steel wool, haven't you? Yeah. Hey, you got my U220 there, look. And uh, that thing, that's good. But I'll have that back. Yeah. Good delay, that is. Yeah. Except you won't have it back. No, oh, it's not nice, is it? No. So you'd rather let it sit there, rot away? I'd rather let anything rot away than give it you. This is a nice tin, Doug. What's in here? 
Oh, that? Yeah. Oh, it's an engraving tool. Is it? You know, blah, 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 blah. And I guess this is, uh, didn't come like that when it's you were. It's a glue gun. No, it's melting. Fire. Yeah, that was the problem. Fire. Evacuate. Yep. And I've got three reamers, which are very useful for guitar people if you want, if you want to film them. Uh, we'll do that in a sec. I see you've got plenty of tape up, up here, haven't you? What? Plenty of tape. Yes. Gaffer tape. Job lots. Have you got um, cellar tape? Oh, you yeah, have, not you? Yeah. <whistles> Keep your eye on that. I need one. Can't be bothered to well, go to the, the shop, shop then. Ah. So, so I did. Why go to the shop and Uncle Doug will treat you? I've got reamers. Hey. I've got a big one for big holes. The reaming out an hole. Do you if you want your hole reaming out. Get that from Ann Summers. Yeah, and there's a, that's a violin reamer. So a reamer is just basically you put it in, you just jiggle it. Oh, left it makes and right. the hole bigger. Yeah, just gently, gently. Gently. But it's got like a conical sort of uh, shape to it, hasn't it? Yeah. Tapered. Okay. Yeah, tapered. Yeah, okay. I've yeah, got so three one, reamers. What do you push it in? The bigger the hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. There's another reamer. But what if you don't want like a a tapered hole? Well, that is a problem. You get round that by using a file and keep it file it same size. Ah, yeah. But you might not file evenly, might you? Well, you, that's because you're not very good then. That's the, that's the answer. So give it, to, give the job to somebody who knows what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, look at this up here. Nice little tweezer set. Yeah. yeah. Inherited. Yeah, I can't imagine you buy that. No, I wouldn't need it. Is that a? Are they batteries? What, what's that next to it? Those little, all those little dots. Batteries. Are they really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we used to be. Able, you couldn't get batteries at one time. They're buying bloody sets of them. Yeah, and yeah, they give yeah. you all sorts of sizes you don't need. Yeah. When you just want some of those, you want and you have to buy bloody bags of everything. Yeah, you get like a 20, You can buy them separate nowadays. 20 different types. Yeah. Something that we don't really associate with you. Tuna. A tuna. tuna. No, I'm sure you don't. Well, I think this has been pretty informative, Doug. Okay. Uh, I think you'd agree, yeah. Okay. So you know a bit more. Well, listen, one of your viewers said he'd love... a viewer? Yeah, one of your I'm subscribers said he would love a little tour of your wall. All right. So, um, we've done it. Yeah. 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 And that's, there's all sorts of shit. What, what, uh, All different colours. All different colours of shit. That magnifying glass is very, very new, very shiny. It is. I've inherited it again. I've got an old one. There, in well, there, thicker dust. One, one that you can't see through. Yeah, you can't see through it. Ah, <sighs> so anyway, is it every, oh yeah, bloody hell, yeah. You've got a ton of sellotape, haven't you? What's that? I just noticed more sellotape. Yeah. Inherited. By job lots. Yeah. Inherited. Oh, that's inherited, eh? you to? <laughs> I've inherited that. Nobody in the right mind gives away sellotape, because you always need sellotape. Yes. You don't. Got no last time you used it. Never daft. God. What the hell? I don't buy presents, so I don't need wrap anything, so yeah. I don't need to stick papers oh, together. Yeah. What about charity donations, like, you know, yeah. things like that? No, no. I still accept them. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Right, Doug, I think this will, uh, tell you what, let's end this little wall video. Yes. Just tell us what you're doing to this um, Telecaster. This Telecaster is just having a new, he's having a bone nut. Um, what I've done already, he's bought, this is a, a, is a replica a relic telecaster is bought. Yeah. Uh, but then we're still shiny new. Look, there they are now. So, so shiny, shiny new ones. He's bought some of these to go with it. No, they were on. They oh, were okay, on yeah, it. So he's put that money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's bought some of them relic three. Ones, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they came with new screws. Okay. So, this so I've changed the yeah. screws as well. Them are his old screws now. Yeah, yeah. So that's all as as it original now. Yeah. He's changed the machine heads. Yeah. From these, which were relic, they're, they're the one. Look, they've been aged. Yeah. But he's changed them for clusons that have been aged. Why? Just you just like the look of them, or? Well, because they are more real, as because they were originally clusons. Oh, so he's, he's going for sort of a they're totally relic. Uh, so we've changed them now. Visual appeal. Yeah. He's taking the the plastic nut, and he's that, that's the plastic nut you can yeah. see, and I made him a bone one. Is that well, I'm making a bone one. Shop. Yeah. So it's Fender Custom Shop. It's a Fender Custom Shop. Probably yeah. about four, four four and a half grand. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so he's having it all done. I've done them with the frets. Mm. Oh, China. Hmm. 
and I'm just uh, cutting him in his nut now. Aye, aye. So... These frets are very low. They're fine. No, I mean, like, I'm not, I'm not, why'd you take it as like a personal attack? They're you? nothing, they're not I'm low. I'm just saying, they're not high frets. They're fine. They're, well, they're not jumbos. No, they're fine. Nah, uh, jumbos every but time. Just stop rubbing them. You wear them out. I won't make a joke about if you fit them, they're going to fall out anyway, any moment. I didn't fit them anyway, so they're glued in. Well then, okay. They're, they're glued it in. Let's end this video, Doug. Okay. Well, end it then. Fuck off. Do you want another coffee? I do. Think what? What are the chances you think of Dave making another one? I just slam my off. <laughs> <laughs>